so welcome back guys to another video and yes you saw the title and the thumbnail and I'm bringing you this time how to play COD Mobile in your laptop PC so let's jump right into it so first thing first guys you need to go to your BIOS settings and this is my BIOS right here the only thing you need to do on the BIOS is enable the virtualization feature guys this allows you to install Android emulator and it's gonna improve the app let's go back to Windows well guys back to Windows first thing that we need to do is check if the virtualization is enabled go to the task manager yeah this is my task manager and we will go to performance you will see virtualization is enabled so we're good to go so we're going to the next step to EC you just need to go to Google Chrome or your browser we are going to search for Nox that's the emulator that we are using so just put Nox download this is your the link address that you need to use I'm gonna put this link on the description as well big Nox player and click on download that's the only thing that you need to do click on download once it's downloaded it's gonna look like this it's gonna say Nox setup so make sure the installation press on there right click button and run as administrator just in case all the process needs to be as administrator so once the app is installed guys it's going to show you on the desktop two options one is multi-drive and the other one is going to say just nuts to open nuts make sure that you open nuts with run as administrator because if you don't click on as administrator it's gonna pop up blue screen like this it happened to me like twice a couple times just click as run as administrator and wait for the program to open up the entire way do not close the app so we are now guys back into our main android display so first thing first before getting into Call of Duty or the Play Store make sure you go click on this icon right here above that is like a settings button so click on that and it'll show you a lot of details and tricks for your laptop or PCs that you can root your device by just clicking right here on root and then save settings and you need to restart the app any settings that you change you need to save and then restart the app so then apply successfully you need to go to your performance settings and this is the main settings that you need to change so if you have a high-end laptop or PC you can run as high as you want the high setting is gonna be four cores of your CPU and four gigabytes of memory RAM I'm pretty sure that it will run with middle or high I don't know if we will run on low settings because it's using just one core of your CPU make sure you click on high and your laptop or middle if you have a low-end PC or laptop then at the bottom of the settings it's going to show you the internal resolution that the app will process the highest one is 1920 1080p try to lower the internal resolution till the game runs flawless you just click on save settings and the app will prompt to restart so restart the app app settings will apply successfully so go to tools go to the play store and make sure you're signed in with your credentials with your google account credentials and then just go and look for code mobile and click on install so the game it's i i think it's 1.5 or 2 gigabytes so after the game is installed guys good to go to play Call of duty mobile i just gonna click on it and wait so 
Now guys, we are on the main menu of COD Mobile. So the best way to perform is going to practice. Just go to multiplayer, click on practice. There it is, practice versus click on start. As, as you can see, I'm moving the aim with my mouse. I am moving with my keyboard. I'm running, I'm sliding. I'm jumping, I'm aiming, and I'm shooting. If you're not comfortable with these default settings, you just need to go to this icon right here that is like a keyboard, click on that, and already has default settings that the Nox developer put into the emulator. So there's two options you can play with keyboard or controller just go here and you can see that we have multiplayer settings and battle royale settings make sure you click on the one you're using and these are the default settings so the d-pad always need to be on the bottom left of the screen you can change WASD I know that most of you play with WASD so on top of the perks, put F1, F3. As you can see, I'm gonna change to F3, F4, F5. So let's leave it. So I'm gonna leave it right F1, F2, F3. Right here, you have change weapon. Uh, already the developer put with the mouse scroll button, but I don't use that. I just put also numbers so you can change your weapons the buttons above a WSD like one or two so grenade grenade is gonna be G reload is gonna be R do not touch any of these buttons you just need to change the keys do not change the position of these buttons so this is gonna be crouch this is gonna be for jumping and this is gonna be for aiming. A lot of you guys aim with the second mouse click button. For in my case, I'm gonna aim with Q. So I change it to Q, but you can change that to, to the left mouse button. But I prefer using Q. V is for melee, you can change it as well. You can put melee like E or something, E for my special item that is the flamethrower or the grenade launcher. So this feature guys, as you can see right here, is the most important features that you need to uh, change or adapt. So I put the right mouse click button. It's gonna allow you to uh, put away your mouse cursor. Once you click on the on the key that I put to enter shooting mode, the cursor disappears and you now allow to move around. If you are experiencing too much sensitivity, you just scroll up or scroll down. So my mouse is too has too much sensitivity, so I need to go down as like uh, 15 or 18 so I'm gonna leave it there. So the last feature that I don't like is sprinting So you can you cannot run with WASD Sprint needs to be on top of this little guy that you can see right here That's the sprint. You just need to press shift and you will start running and you can slide and you can jump but once you gain control, the character is gonna stop sprinting once you touch WASD. So other than that, guys, the game rooms flawless. Play Call of Duty Mobile on your laptop or PC by running flawless. And let's kill some enemies. As you can see, I'm sprinting, I'm jumping, I can crouch, we control. Well, 
the last feature before ending this video guys is if these buttons are annoying you the opacity settings I are right like here and you can see all the buttons and it's messing with your view so just go to the bottom of the settings put the opacity near to zero percent and you will see that the buttons nearly disappear so you can see more of the screen so i hope you like this video guys like and subscribe if you want more content about cod mobile i'm pretty sure this emulator works also for free fire and PUBG. so this is going to be the end of the video guys like and subscribe remember to hit that notification bell for more future content guys i'm going to see you on the next video guys